Hey you guys. I hope that um, each of you is doing really well. Um, I know life is pretty hard at times, so I genuinely hope that you are doing well. Um, this video is going to be uh, black and white themed. So I'm wearing my black and white um, rope kind of thing. Can you see it? In the no talking version, I just actually used it as part of the like items that I scratched and made sounds with. But it's cold, so I'm wearing it in this video. So this is an umbrella. And it's got kind of an outer portion here. It's obviously black and white. It's got um, it's got white polka dots on a black background. I love the sound of the handle. It's a matte black handle. And it's got a um, red button here that you push to open the umbrella. It's not been used before. Um, this is uh, belongs to someone that lives in community with us in this house. I mention it a lot, but some of you are newer. Um, I live in community. We call it. We live with other people. We live with other families. So I'm always stealing their things for my videos. That's why I'm always like, my friend let me use this, my friend let me use that. They are very generous with their things. They get excited when I use them in videos. They often come to me and say, hey, can you use this for a video? You can use it if you want. This is where it is. They're really sweet. Okay. The next item is this director's... Um, what's this called? Like, slate? I'm not sure. What's this called, you guys? <laughs> I haven't a clue. Director Slate? Anyway, um, you are able to write in the scene and the film, etc. On the real versions of these, that is. This one is obviously a little hook that um, you can put onto your walls. So it has a hook on the back. But um, we actually use some 3M Velcro strips to do the job because it was kind of bent. I have one video that's like all cinema themed. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that. It's from when I first started the channel. Um, it's like all ci old cinema themed. Like I had like an actual reel of film that I tapped on and everything kind of film related. Um, you can go check that out. Probably if you put in the search box ASMR Villa um, film, probably that will come up. on that you hook there. Okay. <clears throat> so I could not pass up tapping on a phone, of course. It happens to be a white phone with the black screen, obviously. But 
You guys love phone tapping. and white colour themed video that I did years ago. I've done a lot of colour themed videos throughout the years. I think I actually have a playlist of like the colour themes I've done. gold colour and the case is transparent. Dolce and Gabbana sunglasses case. It's got some really great texture on it. You can hear the texture if you can't see it. Trying to focus it, there it is. So inside, it's got kind of a velvety texture, kind of like velvety, yeah, and it's quite soft. And we'll take care of your glasses quite well, I think. salt and a pepper shaker. Salt and pepper shakers. Um, I purchased this from the Dollar Tree. Uh, each one was one dollar. And I really think they're cute. It's got a lid that is metal, obviously. There it goes. So, yeah, it's got obviously glass bottom and a little tiny handle. They are made to look like miniature kind of mason jars with the handle. And we have quite a few mason jars in our living space um, that we have like snacks in and such. So I added these to that area. And they match it. I've actually been thinking quite a bit lately about 
how things in life are not always so black and white. As they seem. Like, they're not as black and white as they seem. So this video is quite fitting, actually. I feel like our, our culture um, is such a strong component of the way we view the world that um, we assume certain things are very black and white because they're the way our culture does them and there's almost a pressure to do it the way the culture says to or pushes to to like fit into that or it's like sometimes you just, that's, you just think it's the only option it's what you've been shown. Anyway, this is getting philosophical, but I, this is the kind of stuff I think of all the time. Anyhow, salt and pepper shakers. Not everything is black and white. Okay. I mean, some things are black and white as well. Just sometimes we could not be seeing it, not be seeing some important grey area. Okay, next object. This is a canvas and um, it's got a black portion painted towards the top as you can see and kind of black dripping lines falling down the page. It's quite dramatic. We did a, um, I did a photo shoot recently, um, where, because I, I dance, where, um, the photographer took photos of me in, um, different dance poses and such, and the colour theme was black and white. husband and I one day, this was years ago, we took some canvases and just like had fun with them and this is what my husband did and I really liked it and he did too so we kept it. If you guys have watched my channel for any time, you know that I have dogs that are like living on either side of me. So when you see um, a, bit, a portion like cut out, like I kind of go from one scene to the next, it's typically almost, um, there's the dog barking, I'm just gonna let it happen once and not edit it out so you can hear, <laughs> but like it's like all the time, so I have to edit them out constantly, so if you see that in my videos, um, that's what's happening typically, like I'd say 75% of the time it's a dog barking, other times it's something small in the house like someone walking through or you know, phone ringing, text coming, something like that. But most of the time, it's the, it's the dogs. Okay. This is my water bottle. You guys have seen this in quite a few videos, but it's also black and white.
this is a 40 ounce water bottle, um, 1.2 litres by Takeya. It's really good. I've used it for one year now. And I love that it holds like a lot of water. I'm like constantly filling it up as well. Honestly, if it was bigger, I'd still, like if it's sitting there when I'm doing work as such, I just like drink it constantly. So it kind of doesn't matter how big it is, I will keep filling it up. But I like this size because I can carry it around as well. And yeah, it's still big, but it's still like I can carry it. giant mickey hand i just put this in a video recently i think it's a scratching video the only other video i think this has ever been in was my like i did a mickey mouse theme a couple of years back so i used it in that Any other colour themes that you guys would like to see, check out the playlist that I have for coloured, um, like colour themes, um, and see if maybe there's a colour that you want me to repeat, like do, I'm, probably, I'm sure I've done like red for example, so if you wanted me to repeat another, a colour there, or if there's a colour lacking in that playlist, let me know, and I can try to um, make that. I like colour videos. I usually match my nails to the colour of the video, obviously. But I thought this would be... Okay. So, in true ASMR Villa fashion, I will bring all of the players for the final scene. I only say that because a viewer one time um, spoke at the end of my videos like that, like at the end of every video all the, all the items come up for like the bow, to take a bow. I don't know why, it's just like the first video I ever made I did that, so I just kind of kept doing it. And it became a thing. to leave my phone out of the final scene just because it's plugged in over there. So you guys, thank you so much for watching. I didn't want to tell you this at the beginning of the video, but this is the third time I have tried to film this video. Sometimes that happens with sounds going on or interruptions and such. Um, when I was filming it the first time, no joke, someone in my house was playing with like tissue paper for the longest time ever conceivable. <laughs> I could not believe how long. So finally I was just like, well, you know, something's happening with the tissue paper and I can't compete with it. I'm gonna stop. So like when I came back, I just started from the beginning. And then I got like a really important call during this and had to like take a major break. And I feel like I tried one other time too. Anyway, I don't usually share that at the beginning of the video because I feel like um, when I hear that other people say at the beginning of the video that like they had to film it three times, then I'm thinking that the whole time and like worried for them and like, oh, they're probably so bored, like having to do it for the second or third time. But um, I thought I'd tell you at the end so that it won't bother.